Good day everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I will be talking about the security in Apex. So I've been covering a lot about Apex and I talked about SoCal, I talked about DML statements, right? So there is something you need to know about Apex security, which is very important. Uh, so I thought it's it's a right time to cover. Now you guys know how to do it, uh, you know, create a class, um, create an interface and inherit a class and you know virtual methods abstract classes all kind of stuff right i've covered all those in my previous lecture if you haven't attended it i would really encourage you to please go and check my previous lecture right sounds good so when we talk about sharing right there are two kinds of sharing model we have uh, in apex class one is with sharing as you can see so I'm going to use this uh, developer guide documentation today because it's very well written. So I don't want to reinvent my wheel, you know, new wheel to write a, uh, you know, slides and kind of stuff. So I, I prefer to use this because it's, it's pretty neat uh, written document. So I just, I will cover a few things which is important for you to know. Then we look at other sharing aspect of the Apex class today. Sounds good, right? Okay, cool. Let's get started. So, um, when we talk about sharing, as I mentioned, there are two kinds of sharing model. One is with sharing and, and without sharing. If you remember, uh, if you uh, let me take you to one of the classes we have written before. Uh, so first thing first, you need to uh, log into your Salesforce org. As I always mention, you need to create a uh, free org or you can use your sandbox. But if you're using a customer sandbox, I would encourage you not to do so because it's not your sandbox. It's your client sandbox. That's not a place where you fiddle the stuff with, right? It, it won't cost you any money to have a free org. So please uh, create a free account and you know, you're good to go. Right, so let me take you to, um, I won't take you to developer uh, console today. I will, because we are not writing any code today because I'm trying to explain you the concept today. So there won't be any hands on. Uh, code writing so so the, you can uh, go to apex from two places right one is by going to developer console by going to you know uh, uh, this get cog icon and developer console if it take you to developer console and you can you know open an existing apex class or the other way uh, you can go to setup right we are in the, we are currently on the setup page and there's a quick find here so you can type apex and uh, you can go to Apex classes here. So once you do an Apex class, it will it will list you the bunch of Apex classes, right? You might see a lot of, uh, you know, extra classes or whatever. Um, so you might even see, you know, a lot of uh, Conga composer. So don't worry about the Conga if you if you if you're seeing on my screen like this one, uh, because uh, I have install the free conga version that's one of the reason why you're seeing conga so if you remember i've created something called demo one right so it, this is very handy um so if you wanted to look at a quick definition of a class you can go ahead and do that and you can even filter by alphabet so i think it's it's demo one if i remember correctly so go to d and um, it will take you to so there you go okay so let's open the demo one here right so you can see public class demo right extends um, let's take a simple example. Forget about extends this one, right? Okay. Just think about public class demo, right? So when you look at this, right, you might think, oh, we got no sharing model. There's no with sharing. There's no without sharing. By default, this is without sharing model, right? So uh, if you don't mention any kind of security, like for instance here, without with sharing, without sharing, it will assume it is without sharing. Now you might wonder what is the sharing this guy talking about, right? You know, if you remember the org wide default setting, right? In the org wide default setting, you can assign an object as a private, right? An account or contact or any other object. Let's let me give an example of a contact, right? You you assign uh, org wide setting as private. So what happens is that a person who creates that record has only the right to see that, right? So let's say I'm creating uh, that uh, information about, I'm creating a new contact, right? And the org by default is private. So only I'm allowed to see that. And if, if someone else logs in, they won't be able to see that unless I specify a sharing model or share that account with a uh, with different profile, right? So when you mention, uh, when you put without sharing, it, uh, so there won't be any sharing model comes in the picture. You can be any user, you can still see the record in an Apex. Right, so select 
uh, ID name from account. So no matter what user you're logged in, you will be able to see every account information because Apex do not care when it's without sharing model, right? But if you put with sharing model, then if you're logged in as a user, right, uh, who do not have, <clears throat> excuse me, who do not have access to that account, you won't be able to see that account, uh, sorry, account or contact, you won't be able to see that contact information. I hope that's clear. So with sharing, exactly the same sharing models apply when you use a normal point and click, right? You go to an account, you won't be able to see an account because you're not allowed to authorize to see that account. So unless that person shared with you that uh, account or contact, right? Same way, you won't be able to see that information uh, using your with sharing. Now, you need to keep certain things into consideration. Your DML operation might have impact, it might have an impact on it because if you don't have enough access rights, it might fail. And, you know, as usual, I mentioned about the so-called right, you will not return those records if you are not um, authorized to see that. So you need to plan your system in such a way, depending upon your business requirement, maybe, uh, you know, you have a customization in place uh, when someone, you know, certain profile logs in, uh, you know, you won't be able to, you're not authorized to, you know, modify those records so you can implement bit sharing. So uh, you need to, to understand that, right? So, uh, yeah, that's very important. So it's all about your business needs and requirement. There's no hard and fast rule here. Uh, there's no one single rule. You can say, oh, let's apply with all sharing. No, it doesn't work that way. It's all depends upon your business requirements. So this is how the sharing gonna work. If you put the sharing, the sharing rules will kick in for the user. So if you're not authorized to see a specific record, you won't be able to see it unless it's shared, right? So it's the same sharing rule, sharing model. I hope you know, understand how the sharing rule works. If not, I've created a uh, video lecture. Uh, so if you look, if you check out my previous video, you will find it, right? And I will put a link to it. Okay, so now there are a few things you need to keep into mind, right? So that is Inner classes do not inherit the sharing setting from other containers, which makes sense. So, uh, and other thing you have to keep in mind, if a class, right, is called by another class that a sharing enforced, then the sharing is enforced for the other class. If other class, let's say I have a class A, right, then you have a class B. Class A doesn't have any sharing model, but the sh class A, B has a sharing model. So when you call class A, uh, from class B, the class A will use the sharing model of class B. Hope that uh, simple enough. So class inherit the setting from a parent class when class extends to implement another. It's very, very handy to go, go through this documentation. I'll put a link to this documentation as well. There's nothing biggie about this one. It's pretty straightforward concept. Just to keep in mind, if you implement sharing, the sharing rule will kick in. If you don't use sharing, no sharing rule will kick in. You can see every record. That's the very basic concept, right? Right. That's that's one thing, okay. And now you can also uh, restrict your uh, Apex code uh, to based on the security setting. I mean, you, if you don't want a certain profile to have an access to an Apex class, you can do that as well, right? So I don't want uh, another profile to have an access to. Uh, so then you can uh, restrict the access to uh, different profiles by going to security. Uh, so the way to do that is that there is something called, so we are in the Apex class here, right? And so these are our uh, custom created um, Apex, right? So you can go to security here and you can see that uh, for, uh, it's enabled for system administrator. If you don't want to do this, you can choose, pick and choose whichever profile you want and then you can save it. This is a very easy way you can restrict access to an Apex class based using a profiles, right? Very handy, very simple concept. And you can also go to, another way you can do is that you can go to, go to profiles, right? And um, so let's say I go here, marketing profile, whatever profile this is. Um, and then you go, go to Apex class, Right, there's there's none here. Right, oh, it's a here. Okay, sorry, here. So you can, uh, you know, enable uh, access to this 
uh, Apex class, you know, from here as well. So, you know, you can drag to the right hand side, you can, you know, move to the right hand side, or you can take off axis. It's a pretty straightforward concept. There's nothing much fancy about it. So, that's why I said that today's session will be very small. I mean, I don't want it to expend, uh, you know, expend too much of time. It's a very, very, very short session today because I realized, oh, I have to cover this because now you guys are pretty com comfortable with Apex. And next time I will talk about uh, platform events and, uh, right? And after that, we're gonna uh, get into user interfaces. Right? We talk about visual force and other stuff, right? And then we're gonna talk about, I, I've covered uh, most about test, uh, sorry, uh, about uh, debugging and kind of stuff in my previous lectures as well. But I will touch more into it Then we talk about how to write a test class and kind of stuff. And after that, I think we are pretty much done. Then, uh, uh, then once you do, once we finish it, I will do a recap summary probably. And then I will show you other resources you can look at before attempting platform dev. Right, because you can't rely only on my uh, video tutorials. It's great. I mean, it will help you. It give you an extra edge along with other stuff you're doing. Because I'm a kind of person who like video tutorials a lot. That's the reason why I created. I created for free because I don't charge anything for my course. I just wanted to help you out, guys. Because you know, I think education should be free. That's my concept. I don't live in a socialist country. I live in New Zealand, so don't think that I'm a uh, some kind of a, you know communist kind of guy. <laughs> you know, I, I believe education should be accessible to everyone. That's my main concept. That's my main belief in life. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, I'm helping. Uh, I just created just so that you know who are watching it they can get some value out of it, right? If you think that there's certain content which I haven't covered properly, please uh, leave a comment. I will try to do that. Right. So, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. You know, the, I think uh, uh, the the important thing is that you know uh, you need to you know you see that how much time and effort is involved, right, in doing all these uh, videos. And I'm giving for free. You know, there are people who take money to you know. I'm not taking any money, right? You know, just take it for free. I mean, why should I take money from right? Because I'm covering mostly from trailhead, so. I just use most of the content and you know I converted them into videos right so the the credit goes to trailer team for you know for creating the content I just use that content yeah I use my time right that's <laughs> that's a different story but you know what I'm trying to say so I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel I will add more uh, so once I finish uh, platform dev I have planned to uh, create a uh, platform app builder then I might create integration design, integration architecture certification as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes based on the time, right? Okay, so thank you very much for attending today. I hope you guys are keeping safe wherever you are. Uh, have an amazing day. Take care. Bye.